Hey guys, welcome back to Jack Watley Discus Hatchery. I'm Gabe Posada. Today we're going to talk about a little pH hack. And what do I mean by a pH hack? Well, a lot of people call us up and say, hey Gabe, you know what? My pH coming out of my tap is between 8.4 and 8.9. I mean, at best, I could keep uh, koi, uh, koi fish in my pond, but I can't keep this kiss or angel fish. What can I possibly do? All right, it's real simple. What you need to do is, this is a little hack that we did many, many years ago. I'm talking 20, 25 years ago, and it's a real simple hack. What you do is you go to Home Depot and you buy a gallon of muriatic acid, and they sell it in the pool supply. This is phosphoric acid, it doesn't matter, whichever one you want, but the more readily available one is the muriatic acid. You can get this in any pool supply, you can get it at Home Depots, you can get it at Lowe's, wherever you want. You'll get probably pay like $4 for a gallon of it. Now what you're gonna do is, you're gonna buy one of these garbage pails. Now this is a small one, this one holds probably around 25 gallons. You wanna buy one that holds about 35 gallons, which are the original green ugly ones. Now. I'm going to tell you something, don't be slick, don't be buying the one with the wheels so you can wheel it around because unfortunately those wheels can't handle 300 pounds of water and remember each gallon weighs 7 pounds so it's going to end up tilting over and messing up your floor. Now when you fill up the 35 gallons of water what you're going to do is you're going to take the cap right off the gallon jug and you're going to pour two capfuls inside this cap, this is your measuring device and you're going to dump them right in, okay? Now, you're gonna leave that water for three days. When you leave that water for three days, the chemical reaction between the acid and the alkaline minerals is gonna take over. Some of the byproducts of carbon dioxide, they're gonna come right out of the water. It, initially, the pH will be very low, but within two or three days, it'll rise back up. So from 8.5, you may be able to take it down to seven, 6.8, depending on how many you put in. Now, the first one is a test. If you put in two and figure out that your pH is 5.5, the next time around you add one. If, the, if the, the, the next time you do it, you add two and you're still at 7.8 or 7.9, then what you wanna do is you wanna add three capfuls. Once you figure it out, the aquifer is not gonna change. It's always gonna be the same, so it's simple. You fill up your tank, you put in the right amount of capfuls, and you're done, and your pH will be where you want it to be. Now. To make it easy on you so you're not scooping up water and putting it in your tank with buckets, you get a little utility pump. One of these little puppies. You can get them on eBay, you can get them anywhere. They're plastic, they're submersible. You can throw them inside the tank, plug them in, and they actually have a garden hose adapter. Now, to this, we add this little hood dicky that we're gonna show you now that we make up. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you how it's made, I'm just gonna show you a picture because as they say, a picture speaks a thousand words. What's so important about this? When you plug that pump in, water's gonna come rushing. You need a ball valve, okay? When you go to fill up your tank, all you need to do is hook this onto your tank, open up the valve, and as you can see, water starts going in. That's all you need to do. Once you're done, you unplug, you shut it down, you take your little thing out, you unplug your pump, and you're ready to rock. That's how simple it is, and we hope this helps you in enjoying your hobby even more, and more of you that can have discus and altums because of your high pH. We just showed you a hack with simple muriatic acid and this. Now, I'm gonna tell you something, don't be slick willy and try to put the muriatic straight into your tank because you'll wipe everything out, okay? It's a cloud of death. The reaction must take place away from the discus, away from all fish. Please keep this in mind. And another thing, muriatic acid is a very strong acid. So if you drop any on the floor, you're gonna ruin your carpet, you're gonna ruin your floor, okay? Keep this in mind. Also, if you get any on your hands, you're not gonna burn instantaneously like the movies, but it'll sting a little. But remember, you got 35 gallons of water. Wash your hands out, okay? Be safe, but be happy, all right? I'm Gabe Posada. Welcome to Jack Watley Discus. Thank you for coming. Watch us on Facebook, watch us on Instagram, and watleydiscus.com also. See you later, guys.